second graders. Today we're going to read Something from Nothing. I'm interested to see how you can make something from nothing. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. And you can see right here, boys and girls, how he has used that blanket lovingly so much that it is all ready to be tossed. And maybe your mom has you get rid of some things that are getting worn down. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and he turned it round and round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There, just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small and it doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Oh no. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took that jacket. He turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest, Joseph. Joseph wore that vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue, and there's paint on it, too. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest, turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore that wonderful tie to his grandparents' home every Friday. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, snip, and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. And one day his mother said, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered, it's splotched, and it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needles flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, where's your button? Joseph looked. Oh, it was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. He ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button, it's lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid your mother's right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. And so boys and girls, in this story, we see that they took something and repurposed it and reused it until it couldn't be used anymore. And then Joseph took and made a story. We have things we can share. 
Asher Bruff, I'm calling you out right now because I really hope you're writing some wonderful stories of the memories you're making right now. You have a chance, boys and girls, to sit and make maybe something out of nothing. Maybe you think there's something sitting around that's, that's maybe just ready for the trash. You can create something out of it. You can write stories about it. I would love to see you journal. I would love to hear after we're able to come back to school some of the fun adventures you've had. But look around. When you see recycling or you see something being thrown out, think of a way. Joseph's grandfather was able to take some material and make many, many things. Use your imagination. Let's see what you can do with what God's giving you. Have a great day. Can't wait to read to you again. Bye.